So here's a clip of how our lovely kitchen looked before. This is the contact paper that I used. It's marble contact paper. I purchased this on Walmart's website. I like it because it has the little grids in the back, so it's really easy to cut. You're also gonna need some Windex, some paper towels or a towel, and you're gonna want to wipe down your counters before because you wanna make sure there's no food, no dust, nothing. You're also gonna need some scissors, measuring tape, and I believe that's all you're gonna need for this DIY. So I'm starting with measuring the contact paper on this side of our counter. So all I'm doing is checking to see how long this part is. You can do it this way or you can do it with your measuring tape. I'm not gonna use the measuring tape until later on in the video. But once you get a feel for how long it is, you wanna make sure to cut a straight line all the way across. And then we're gonna cut a second piece for the other side of the stove. I wanted to have everything pre-cut, that way I didn't have to go back and forth. And then once we cut that second piece, we can start applying the first one. So this is peel and stick contact paper, which means you do not need any adhesive. All you do is peel off the back of it and you just stick it right on. So that's exactly what I did. I just peeled it and I placed it straight across the section that I wanted to start off with. And I also suggest having a gift card or a credit card or some type of card on hand to use to remove any bubbles. This is just gonna help give you a much smoother surface and it makes it a lot easier with keeping the contact paper even all the way across. And this is such a simple DIY that makes a huge, huge difference. It's very, very self-explanatory, but it can be a little bit difficult in some parts. So all I'm gonna do is like fast forward to the easy parts and then show you kind of what I did on the other parts. And it does look a little bit easier than it is. In a lot of the parts I had to like stick it and then unstick it because it was crooked or there were bubbles or other things. So it's not super, super easy. It can be a little bit time consuming, but I promise you it'll be worth it. Once we get to the edge, we don't have a straight edge. It is a little bit like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not a straight edge. So I just run the card across and then I tuck it underneath. And then just to make sure I go over top of it with my hand to make sure that there aren't any bubbles. And if there are, you can go over it with the card again. And then for the edge, for the other side, I run my hand across the border to make sure it is nice and crisp. And then we just stick the contact paper on that edge and then once you finish running the card on the surface or on the side I should say you want to make sure to tuck the contact paper underneath the countertop I wasn't very precise when I got to the edges all I did was cut off the excess contact paper and then I pressed down on the contact paper so it would just stick that's really all I did you can definitely take your time with it and perfect it but I didn't really care I just kind of wanted to get it done. Then I followed the exact same steps to do the other side of the stove. Once I get to the other side of our kitchen, I cut out little pieces to do the trim. I didn't show doing the bottom part because I just showed you guys how to do it, but the trim, it's very, very similar to the other steps that we followed. We're just using smaller like cut out pieces for the contact paper. I pre-measured and pre-cut these pieces to make the process a lot quicker but it's the same thing all you do is you stick it on there make sure it's straight go over top with your card to make sure it's smooth and then you just keep on going and then for this little section here I measured it all the way to the top and I cut out just one entire piece instead of doing the front part and then doing the top part and right here I show you guys that sometimes it's not gonna be perfect on the first try so I placed it on there and you were still able to see the original countertop so I removed it and then put it on again it may not stick on straight so it's okay if you do have to remove it 
and redo it a couple times. And I did cut out the piece a little bit higher than it needed to be. So all I did was ran my scissors across the edge and it just cut the contact paper right off. The scissors that I used were pretty sharp. So if you don't have really sharp scissors, you can just use like a knife. I would just suggest you be careful or you can use one of those box cutters. Our countertop isn't perfectly square. So there are little pieces where I wasn't able to cover it with contact paper. All I did was cut out little scraps of contact paper and I just stuck it on there and cut it out to whatever shape that that little piece was and that's really all it took for me to completely transform our kitchen so this is how the kitchen looked before and now with the contact paper this is how it looks now and I am obsessed I hope you guys enjoyed my first little DIY let me know in the comments what you think if you enjoyed make sure to give the video a thumbs up I love you guys and I will see you on my next video